Now, deliverance means that we need to understand the authority that we have as believers. I want us to look in the, in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, and the very first verse. This is an important verse for us. Luke 9 and verse 1. Then he, Jesus, called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. What did Jesus give them? He gave them power and authority. In the Greek of the New Testament, those are two different words with two different meanings. We have authority as believers. This same authority has been given to everyone who says, I'm God's child because of my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He's forgiven me of my sins and I belong to him. Then Jesus said, you bear my name. You've joined my family. You've been born again. You've been born into the family of God. And in Mark 16, 17, where Jesus was giving the commission to the disciples to go into all the world and preach the gospel, and he said, these signs shall follow you. As you go and preach, as you proclaim the truth of the gospel of salvation, he said, there'll be certain signs that will follow you. The first sign he mentioned, in my name, ye shall cast out demons. Now that's authority. And you know, when, when I found out that that really worked, I got excited. You know, when I was confronted with someone who had demons in them and, and I spoke to these things that I couldn't see and I said, in the name of Jesus, and I got a reaction and finally I got an exit <laughs> and those things came out of that person. I don't know what it takes to get some people turned on, but that turned me on. I'd been a pastor for 19 years and I'd never seen anything like that. I'd never tried to cast out a demon. I was ignorant. I didn't know there were any to cast out. I thought if they were, they were in Africa or the Amazon jungle of South America. I didn't know they were here in the enlightened United States of America, much, much less in a lot of our churches. Hello? So we're learning, aren't we? We're learning the reality of what God's given us. Saints, I want you to get a hold of this. You have great authority if you're God's child and you know Jesus. You can speak in his name. And that means to speak with the authority of his name. Jesus has given you that. It's yours to use. And you can use it to overcome the power of Satan and his kingdom and his host of evil spirits. But he said, I also give you power. That's the Greek word dunamis. That's the same word that is used in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8 where Jesus told the disciples to wait and tear in Jerusalem and pray until the Holy Spirit came upon them and said, you shall be endued with power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me. You shall receive dunamis. You shall receive an empowerment after that the Holy Ghost comes upon you. You come to the second chapter of Acts and you find where they receive that endowment of power. The Holy Spirit came upon them. It's cloven tongues of fire. They began to speak in tongues and to prophesy. And as you read through the book of Acts, you find in every chapter, as you read as the disciples went forth to minister, there was always dunamis power in the things that they did. Every chapter, without exception, gives you some indication of the power that was operating in the disciples who had received the baptizing in the Holy Spirit. And that's the reason we urge people to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit because it's an endowment of power. And the power of the Holy Spirit works through the giftings of the Holy Spirit. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verses 7 and following, there's a listing of nine supernatural gifts of the Holy Spirit. There's the word of prophecy and tongues and interpretation of tongues, a gift of faith, a gift of miracles, gifts of healing. All of these are supernatural giftings of the Holy Spirit. And these are the power gifts of the Holy Spirit. And these are the channels through which the Holy Spirit operates. 
And so when you begin to minister deliverance, you begin to receive the supernatural giftings of the Holy Spirit. You receive words of knowledge where you know things that nobody has told you. It's supernatural. You receive a gift of discerning of spirits where you know what spirit's there and what's his nature, what's his activity. You get a gift of faith, the kind of faith that you know when I speak, the mountain is going to be removed. And people have demonic mountains sometimes in their life and when you speak with the gift of the faith of the Holy Spirit, you know that that mountain is going to flee. That mountain is going to be removed. Hallelujah. Isn't it exciting what the Lord's doing? Hallelujah.